Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We've got a great one for you today. I've got a little button here. When we click on it, it's going to pop up a video. And obviously you can play your video. Do all the regular things you do with a YouTube video, make it full screen, pause it, mute it, etc. Then when you're done, we can X out. Really easy to do. There's no plugins involved in this today. We're going to steal a bit of code from the Elegant Themes site, and it's really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to go straight over to Elegant Themes here, and I'll put this URL down below the video. About halfway down the page, we're going to find some CSS code. Now to make this work, what you're going to need to do is copy all of this code from the beginning of the B all the way down to the closing curly bracket at the bottom, control C. And we need to go down to our dashboard. Once there, we can go down to Divi, to theme options. Under the general tab, zoom all the way to the bottom of the page to the custom CSS box right here. And you can paste your code in here. When you're ready, save your changes. I'm going to undo that because I've already got the code in mine. Once you save your changes, you get a little check mark. Great. Next thing we want to do, there's a bit of script. If we roll down a little bit more, and this article is a good read if you want to read it. I'm just showing you the quick way of doing things. We're going to copy this script from the opening script tag and including the closing script tag there. Control C to copy. And again, we're going to go down to the Divi. If we roll back up to the top, we want to go to integration. And here it says, add code to the head of your blog. I've already got mine in there, but yours will probably be en empty unless you've got some other tracking in there. So you just need to paste the code in there. And again, once you've done that, hit the save changes. And there's our little green check mark. Great. Now what we want to do is go to whatever page you want to put this on and create a button and a section to pop up. So let's go to the pages. Let's try this one here. That'll work fine. I'm going to go down. I'm going to create a new section, a little blue button for a section. I'm going to make it a regular section. I'm going to put a single column in mine. Inside, I'm going to add a little video block as it's a video we want to pop up. There we go. I'll get rid of the Divi video they got there and I'll put a custom one in just to show you how. I'm going to hit the add video button. Then you want to go over to YouTube or wherever it is your video is and get the URL. I'm going to hit the insert from URL button and paste the URL in there. And you'll see the video pop up there. I'm going to hit the insert into post button. And if I roll down a bit, there it is right there. As we're going to use this for a pop up, I want to sort of darken out the background of this section a little bit. So let's save my module. I'm going to go into the blue tab for the section. In the background, I'm going to make it black. We've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern, or background mask. I'm just going to use a simple color. I'll make it black. And I'm going to take the opacity down a bit so that when it pops up, you'll still see a bit of the website through it. And that's going to create that kind of light box effect. Great. Well, if we look back over at the notes up here, I'll roll back up a bit. Once we've created the section, it's asking us to give it CSS class of ETLB content one. So I'm going to copy that. We'll go back to our page. Still in the section here, over to advanced CSS IDs and classes. Now this is a class, not an ID. Make sure you put it in the class there. I'm going to paste that in there. And I'm going to save my changes. Okay, well, that's the section that we want to pop up. Now let's put a button somewhere to pop this up with. 
And you want to make sure when you create your button, it's not in this section that you want to pop up because this is going to disappear on the front end. Okay, so I'm going to roll down a little bit. Let's just perhaps add a new row, single column. Inside, I'm going to use a button module. Obviously put whatever you want in here. I'm not even going to put a link in. I don't need to for this particular example. Design wise, I'm going to pop it in the middle. And let's just make it stand out a bit by customizing the color. Not going to spend much time on this at all. I'll just make it like my other buttons. Text I'll make white. Background I'll make purple. We'll give it perhaps a different color on hover and common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing, you'll see these little icons here. If there's an arrow, we can set one state for desktop when the mouse is not on it and a different state for hover. I'll just change the color when we're hovering on it to perhaps red. I'm going to flip it back to the desktop state so it'll go purple again. I don't want a border on mine. And I want rounded corners. So I'm going to say 35 pixels. Fantastic. Now if you want a button icon here, you can put one in. You can do a search. See video. That'll work fine. I guess I'll use the little YouTube one there. And I think I'll have mine showing all the time. So if we roll down, I'll flip that only show button on hover to no there we go we've got a little icon there great and if we look back over here i roll down a bit it's telling us we've got to give our button the css class of elb button one and we'll go back and you can pop up any section or anything we're just happening to do a video section for ours today so let's go up to our button advanced CSS IDs and classes. Again, it's a class, not an ID. So we'll pop that in there. Fantastic. Well, let's save our changes now. And we'll save the page changes. And let's exit the Visual Builder. Now, if we roll on down, you might notice that we can't see that video section because by default, it's, it's hiding it. But when I click on the little button right here, there's our little video all ready to play okay that was pretty easy now what if you want to make another one if you want to have another pop-up let's enable the visual builder again and we'll go down let's add a new button i'm going to make my row two columns this time by hitting the little column icon there i'll change it from one to two and I'm just going to copy this button or clone it right there. Two squares to duplicate. And I'll drag one of them over here. And let's go in. I guess I'll call this slightly different video two, perhaps. But what we've got to do, and this is really important. We've got to go over the advance to that class name. We've got to change that last number to something else. For argument's sake, I'm just going to put a 2 in there. Then we can add a new section. Again, a little blue button for a section. We get a regular section again. We're going to do exactly the same thing. Like I say, you can pop up any module you want. We're just happening to use a video for this today. This time, I'll leave the generic Divi one in there. And let's give it a bit of a background. And again, we want to go to the advanced. Now we want to get our little code. And again, we want to make sure over in CSS ID and classes, pop it in there, that whatever we called our second button, we change it to a two. We've got to tell this that it wants a two. So it, so it knows which section it's got to pop up. So we've done that. We should be good to go. Let's just save this. We'll save our page changes again. Let's exit the Visual Builder. We'll roll on down. Now we've got two buttons. First one should pop up that first video. 
and second one should pop up the Divi video. And there we go. And you can keep adding, just change the number on the end for each button and each section you want to pop up or however many sections you want to do it. So there you go, guys. There's how to add a nice little video pop up without using a plugin. Really easy to do. And that's a great little feature for your site. We've just built a site. We've got video pop ups on it for a client. We've also got sort of pop up contact forms. Really nice little system. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget the code or rather the page that to get the code from. I'll put that below the video if anybody wants to go and check this out. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.